Park the Meerkat here with the trade of the day from Grok Trade in the Grok Day Trading Chat Room. It was on AMAT, Applied Materials, A-M-A-T. Here it was at opening, and it was running up rather steadily here all morning. And then at about 10.30 or so, we, got it, we called it out, it was doing a high base. So I set a trade here at about uh, 44.85, ready for the market to come to me. And let's see what happened next here. Ready for the high base to break out, and it started to break out, and it didn't go back up there. It pulled right back again. It was starting to form another high base here, and now, and then uh, I set, the, I still had the trade set there. So as soon as it broke out, and look at the volume, increased volume, boom! I was in here at 44.85. I am now long on AMAT uh, applied material. So uh, I'm going to set my trade, or my sorry, I'm just going to set my stop here. So setting my trade here, right down here, it was automatic, 1% it triggered uh, as soon as my order was filled there, but that's a little bit too much. I'm going to put it below this 50 moving average right here, in case it wants to pull back a little bit here right now, and so I'm at about 44.63 area. So less than 1% are at risk on this trade. Now let's see what happens here. So it does just slowly going up here, just a penny at a time. Now at the even $45 amount, it was just stalled here. So I'm setting up a half order, ready to take out a partial is one of my, is my rule state that if it does stall at a major line of resistance, go ahead and take out half. And I have it ready to go, but then boom, it breaks up and look at the volume. Look at the volume when it broke out. Boom, and it needed all that volume, all that fuel to bust through that 45 even dollar amount. And now let's, uh, let's keep following here. And again, by the way, I'm moving my stop up along this 50 moving average. And now I have a break even trade. I'm now at a break even trade, zero risk. Love it when that happens. Uh, let's just see if we can make some money. So it came back, tagged that 50, or that $45 area again. And then, boom, it's now up here now, up to five. 45.20 starting to base up here and uh, and so the volume was was low here for a while a little bit higher when it broke out but now it's starting to get lower again so I went ahead and that half order I had ready to go I went ahead and I took out half at 45.20 for 0.8 percent just on that first half now I need to change the number of shares in my second half uh, on the stop here, it's because I only have half as many shares left. I'm bringing it up just under the $45 here, so I have an in the money stop and I have 0.8% so far on the trade. Well, it's giving it a chance to run for us here, folks, and sure enough, there it goes. It's running on up. Now I'm going to follow this 20 moving average as it works its way up here. So right now, right there is where my stop is, just about where I had gotten out my first half. And, and now it's still running up here, all the way up to 45.55 bringing it up along this 20 moving average here and the, the market had been fair, all, very very choppy today so I was waiting for it to pull back just a little bit here again I'm following up this 20 moving average along there and uh, it's starting to pull back a little bit and so it's getting a little bit of room to pull back and take off again and let's see here and nope nope it slapped down right there and stopped me out at 45.42 for 1.3 percent on the second half so let's take a look at this whole trade here. Uh, it was high basing here. It did a little dip, but then it based again, and I got in as it broke out with nice increased volume. And then I just managed my stop as it moved its way up here. And I was using the 20 moving average as a shield for my second half stop after I took out half when it stalled at 45.20. And then when it pulled back and when it snapped below that 20 moving average, I was out for a total trade of just over 1% in 43 minutes and with our model portfolio of investing 10,000 per trade that would have been about hundred dollars for this particular trade now this was just one of eight trades we had today and again as I mentioned it was a very choppy market this morning look at our first trade here on snap you know 3.4 percent on a short oh boy we thought we were off to the off to the races and then look at this point minus 0 0.8 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.7 0.5 Got 1% finally again on AMAT and on lifting on minus 0.3. So just 50% success rate today. And we end up with a net of just over 3%, uh, which is about $300 in our model portfolio. So, uh, uh, you know, not bad for two hours worth of work, but short of our 5% target, which we, we typically hit on a regular day. But it was, again, a choppy market where the market was just staying right around the closing line, the all-time record high closing line here for the NASDAQ and the S&P most of the morning. Uh,
Well, this is Mark the Meerkat. Hey, here's an old saying from pilots, and that uh, I've adopted to a training here uh, by Mike um, uh, from Oklahoma City that's in my room. He says, uh, it's much better to be not in a trade wishing you were in than being in a trade wishing you were out. Mark the Meerkat, trade well. <laughs>